Welcome back. Time now is 620 and studio is a familiar face to our community. Daisy's here with the Echo Food Shelf to talk about an event that we're all excited about. We do it every year. Uh, the Pilot on for Echo Parade for the Fun Days. Yes, we're looking forward to it. We're uh, really excited. It's the only food drive we have during the summer months. And we'll have about 30 people walking through the parade, and we really have to, you know, make sure we can't we can't have this um, whole event without all of the people, all the support that comes in. That that is uh, definitely true. Um, you know, it's always I, I know that our volunteers love to go out there with the, our local TV mm -hmm. and radio celebrities and the other businesses that make this possible. Um, and, and if it were not for all that help, we would not be able to do what, what we do. Yeah, and let's talk about what you do for folks that might not be familiar with Echo Food Shelf. Okay, so we uh, provide emergency food assistance to families that live in our community um, that are just having difficulty making ends meet. And usually, um, you know, there's health care or, or they might, there might be um, a car breaking down or something that's going on. Mm -hmm. And then they start cutting their budget. And a lot of the times it's, it's groceries that... Mm -hmm. um, that are cut out first. Is there anything you're really in need of right now? Um, so right now our shelves are, are relatively bare. Uh, mm -hmm. so the summer months tend to be a lot busier for us. We see a lot more people. We uh, also are running two programs. We're doing our summer feeding program where we're providing food to, to families. So anything is, um, is more than welcomed. Mm -hmm. And so how does it work? So people line the parade route on Saturday mm -hmm. and they can hand us their canned goods, their personal care items, or even cash if they have it. Yes, yeah, so uh, as I, I know we're going to be at the front of the line mm -hmm. and we will be collecting any type of do donation. So if they do forget to bring food or a food item along, they can always donate cash. And cash is, uh, it's great for us. Uh, every dollar is worth about $5 to mm -hmm. us. So we're able to stretch that and, and have a, a, a pretty good buying power. When you think about it, this event itself has raised, uh, se you guys have collected 78,000 pounds of donations and over 50,000 in cash donations. And since it started back in 93, that is incredible. It is incredible. Um, I always, I always tell people how we live in an awesome community mm -hmm. and, and I think this is testament of, of it being true. Okay. If someone wants to find out how they can donate or help out the food shelf or, or even be involved with it, is there somewhere they can go for more information? They can always call us at our business line, 345-7477, or they can go on our Facebook page, on our website. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's, they might know, they might have a friend, they might know someone who works down at the food shelf, and mm -hmm. that's always a great way to just get more information. Mm -hmm. and, and also stop by, you know, stop by, get a tour. Uh, we just had um, one of our food rescue partners from Cub West stopped by and he said, hey, I want to know how this works. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do? This is what I do on my end. And, and he seemed pretty fascinated with all of the stuff that was going on at the food shelf. And remind folks the location. So we are located at 1014 South Front Street in Mankato. We're right next to the um, Better, Better Vacuum store mm -hmm. and also in the Old Degroots building. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Daisy, for joining us today. Thank you. We'll have fun on Saturday. All right, we'll have more when we come back.